Oh, hi, Jason. Hey, Amy, what's going on? Nothing much. What are you doing today? Just hanging out here at the church all by myself. <laughs> okay. Well, I have some questions for you today. Okay. First of all, I want to know, why do we pray? Uh, we pray to stay in relationship with God. Um, I, My wife knows that I love her, but it's good for me to tell her that every once in a while. My wife knows that I love her, but if I don't talk to her for a while, she might start to question that love. So... I think of prayer as that way that we stay in communication with God. God wants to talk to us. And if we love God and want to be in relationship with God, then we should want to talk to God as well. So, Excellent. Yeah. All right. So we should talk to God. When should we talk to God? All the time. Scripture says pray without ceasing, that we should always find times to pray, um, no matter what's going on. Good things are going on. We should lift that up in prayer. Things are not going so well. We should cry out to God. Their scriptures are full of people crying out to God who are upset about the things that are going on. Um, scripture says that the Spirit intercedes for us with cries too deep for words, with groans, moaning too deep for words. So even when we don't have the words to pray, the Holy Spirit is still praying through us to God. Um, yeah. And that was my next question. Yeah. Is there a way we're supposed to pray? Um, I, I don't know that there's any way that we have to pray. I think Jesus gives us the good model of, you know, obviously lifting up God at the beginning of the Lord's Prayer, you know, talking about um, how great God is, um, talking about the things that we've done wrong, you know, asking for forgiveness for our sins, asking for the things that we need each and every day. As far as formal prayer, you know, some people like to, to bring their hands together as a way to focus. Um, other people keep their hands open as a way to be open to God and to receive whatever God might be saying. Um, some people keep their eyes closed as a way to stay focused. Some people keep their eyes open so that they can um, pray for the things that they're seeing around them. So there's lots of different ways to pray. One of the fun ways that I learned from Native American Reservation that we went to um, was that the Native Americans would pray in the four directions. and. Um, the four directions had different colors that represent each one of them. So you have red, white, yellow, and black. And so one of the fun ways that they taught us to pray is we could face each direction and give thanks to God for all the things in our life that are red. And then we could face the next direction and give thanks to God for all the things in our life that are yellow or white or black and kind of go in those different directions as we pray to God. Cool. Yeah. Want to pray right now? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So let us pray. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, we give you thanks, Lord, that you are with us in this time. We thank you, Lord, that we can talk to you and share anything with you. Uh, we ask, Lord, that you give us peace in those areas of our life where there's anxiety. We ask, Lord, that you would give us strength in those areas where we might feel weak. Uh, help us to, to cling to you and to hold on to you um, in these times where we might be unsure of what's ahead. Help us to trust in you and to remember that Jesus reminds us in the Lord's Prayer uh, to ask you for our daily bread, not for bread tomorrow or the day after, but to trust in you in this moment right here, right now. And so we do that, Lord, and it's into your hands that we commend our bodies and our souls and all that is ours, trusting in your mercy that you will watch over us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Jason. No problem. Thanks be for well. visiting. All right. <laughs> Take care.